This video is in collaboration with Bobby from over at Supper at the Family Table. We're both food history buffs. We love food history. So we decided to do this. The recipe I've chosen to make is brownies. This recipe is from 1896, but uh, brownies were invented in 1893, actually. Um, they asked a pastry chef for a dessert that was suitable for ladies attending the Chicago World's Columbian Exposition. Uh, the lady that made this request wanted a cake-like confection, smaller than a cake, that could be placed in box lunches. The result was the Palmer House brownie with walnuts and an apricot glaze, which we do not make them like that usually these days. Um, it is uh, thought to be American. It's classified as a bar cookie and is thought to derive its name from the brown color of the cookie. Uh, folklore has its origin coming from a careless cook that forgot to put baking powder in the chocolate cake batter recipe. But who knows? Uh, this recipe I made was from the Boston Cooking School cookbook. It contained no chocolate whatsoever. It was molasses and powdered sugar, which was the only sweetener in these brownies. Right, you guys, this recipe called for a third cup of butter, a third a cup of powdered sugar, which you mix together, a third a cup of molasses, which, yeah, that stuff doesn't pour out very fast. It looks like roofing tire to me. Tar. Uh, an egg that had been beaten. Then you combine all of that. Then you're going to add seven eighths of a cup of bread flour, which is 14 tablespoons. Mix it in and it made a super thick batter. I was like, oh my goodness, am I even going to get this to spread out very well? Uh, it barely filled up a pie pan. Um, I had a little 8x8, uh, eight eight, but it was in use, so I had to put it in a pie pan. I covered the top with pecans. I put it in a 350 degree oven for right at 20 minutes. They come out looking wonderful, smelling amazing. Uh, they are moist, uh, chewy, and it would be good with a cup of coffee. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Bobby's channel over at Supper at the Family Table. You won't be disappointed. We will catch you next time.